pictures of a local church's Christmas service have been circling around social media, and it's raised some concerns regarding congregating in large groups, especially heading into the colder seasons. Our Frances Lynn starts this off tonight. She reached out to the church and spoke with one hospital leader about this. She's live at Cox Health in Springfield now. Frances, what's the story? What do they have to say? Well, good evening, Heather. So the president and CEO of Cox Health, Steve Edwards, was the one who gave the press conference. He says in terms of COVID-19, asymptomatic spreading is one of the most dangerous parts of the disease. If you have the flu, you feel sick, you have symptoms, and you stay home. But with COVID-19, you may have it and not know it and are highly infectious. Edwards says 4 to 6 percent of our community probably has the disease but doesn't know it. So if you're at a large gathering, Gathering, for example, with a thousand people, assume 40 to 60 people have the disease in that group. If there's a time to need faith, it's right now, so I get that. And I think that we have to realize that the disease um, doesn't care about our religion. Um, it wants to replicate, and it does so by congregating. And there are safer ways to congregate, so if you must congregate, please distance, wear a mask. Now, I did reach out to James River Church, and a spokesperson provided a statement. They said they take the safety and health of those who attend their services very seriously and strongly encourage masking and distancing. Going forward, they will, quote, be committed to doing a better job of encouraging and maintaining the procedures necessary to keep people safe and secure. Now, the church also said before each service, they take everyone's temperature and they have the auditorium fog sanitized and they offer masks. And also at today's news conference, Cox Health says they are expanding their COVID-19 ICU unit by 33 beds. I'll have more details on about that expansion tonight on Color 10 News at 10. Francis Lynn, Ozarks First.